Ice class means that the hull is reinforced up to a certain amount of uh, ice and the vessel should uh, basically can push around little pieces of ice or very thin ice. An ice breaker is rated to go into serious ice and it doesn't just push it aside. It rides up on top of it and it uses the weight of the vessel to crack the ice and crunch it up. And then the propellers will actually chop up the ice further and these propellers are so rugged that you can run if you get in a jam like an ice jam you can hit it you can hit reverse and back up and these propellers will actually chop up the ice into chunks power around in reverse just using them like a huge blender to chop up the ice and this vessel apparently was laid up in holland not far from the icon shipyards so it went into the shed in 2017 so the main thing that they wanted to, that they needed to accomplish, first of all, they made the decision to keep the pilot house and keep the forward working part of the vessel intact. And that's a very big decision to make in doing a conversion because you have to overcome the fact that it's starting with a profile that's not great in terms of, you know, compared to a beautiful yacht. And, and you've got to deal with that profile if you're gonna keep the pilot house and keep all the uh, existing works, which is a smart thing to do because just moving it is very expensive and you're not adding anything to the capability of the vessel. So, so they made that decision at the outset and then designed around that existing forward pilot house uh, to make a, quite a, a good looking uh, and uh, meaningful profile on the vessel. And, and also to keep its seaworthiness and its uh, ballast and weight proportions correct. So this sort of conversion uh, right away, you know you're going to need a uh, certified helipad. In this case, it was for an EC-145 Eurocopter. And with that, if you're going to have endurance, you've got to have refueling for the helicopter and all the uh, fire precautions. Another decision is to keep the deck heights the way they are, because if you're going to extend off the back of the existing pilot house, you're gonna to have to go with those deck heights. And that is a consideration when you're considering the vessel that you're gonna convert, is make sure you've got decent deck heights so that you're not having to sort of change levels between the, uh, the new section and the old section. So it had the, the uh, Twin Cat 3516 HD diesel engines, which are 2,000 kilowatts each. So you had plenty of power. And these pods are Wardzilla electric pods. They're 1750 kilowatts each. And these are not just your regular sort of uh, go across the med pods. These are designed to churn ice. And these pods will actually uh, eat up the ice in case you get stuck in a situation where you gotta back out. It has a maximum speed of 12 knots, which is just fine for global cruising and a good range of 6,000 nautical miles.